Sandra Zulaiha ini? Iya dong, taruh nanti bersenggol dong. Nah, selanjutnya ada penampilan yang gak kalah oh, menarik lagi nih. Siapa ya kira-kira? Ayo tebak siapa? Hmm, siapa ya? Ada yang enggak? Ada yang tahu enggak? Oke, selanjutnya adalah penampilan storytelling dari aku. Wah, beri tepuk tangan yang meriah untuk Janet. Hello friends, my name is Janet. Today I would like to tell you a nice story from Middle Java. The title is Lutu Kasarung. Enjoy the story. Long time ago in Java Island, there was a king, Prabu Tapa Agung. He was a no king. He had two daughters, Purbararang and Purbasari. Prabu Tapa Agung planned to retire as a king. He wanted Purbasari to replace him as the leader of the kingdom. Hearing this, Purbararang was very angry. You cannot ask her to be the queen father. I'm older than she is. It's supposed to be me, not her, said Purbararang. But the king still chose Purbasari to be the next queen. Purbararang then set a bad plan with her fiancé, Rajaya. Together, they went to witch and asked her to put a spell on Purbasari. Later, Purbasari had bad skin. There were black dots all over her body. <laughs> you are not as beautiful as I am. You cannot be the queen. Instead, you have to leave this village and stay in jungle, said Purbasari. Purbasari was sad. Now she had to stay in the jungle. Every day she spent her time playing with some animals there. There was one monkey that always tried to cheer her up. It was not just an ordinary monkey. He had magical power and he also could talk with humans. The monkey's name was Lutung Kasaru. He was actually a god. His name was Sangyang Gurumina. Lutung Kasari planned to help Purbasari. He made a small lake and asked her to take a bath there. Purbasari bathed there. After a few hours, Purbasari walked out of the pond. She was shocked to see her face reflected on the clear pond water. Her face was beautiful again, with smooth and clean skin. Purbasari observed her entire body. There were no traces of any skin ailments. I'm cured! I'm cured! Purbasari shouted in joy. She quickly offered a to the gods. Purbasari wanted to visit to the palace and ask Lutung Kasaru to accompany him. Purbararang was very shocked. She knew she had to talk up with another bad idea. She didn't say. Those who have longer hair will be the queen. The king measured his daughter's hair. Purbasari had longer hair, but Purbararang did not give up. A queen must have a handsome husband. If my fiancé is more handsome than yours, then I will be the queen. Purbararang said she knew Purbararang fiancé Indrajaya was handsome. And she did not have fiancé yet. Here is my fiancé in Drajaya. Where is yours? Asked Purbararang. 
Lutung Kasaru came forward. Purbararang was laughing very hard. <laughs> Your fiance is a monkey. <laughs> you must be joking. Suddenly, Lutung Kasaru changed into a very handsome man. He was even more handsome than in Rajaya. Purbasari then became the queen and ruled the kingdom. Everybody loved her as a queen. She forgave Purbararang and her fiancé and let them stay in the peace. Finally, Purbasari and Lutung Kasarung that actually Sang Yang Guru Mina live happily ever after. So friends, what can we learn from this story? Yes, be a good person and forgive others. Because a good and strong person is someone who always gives forgiveness to others. That's my story. I hope you enjoy it. I'm Janeta Hasna Kamila. Would like to say thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selanjutnya ada penampilan nyanyi dari Pak Mahrud. Langsung saja, mari kita sambut. 